Hey everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I have my collection in front of me of what we are going to be using today. The resin in this is going to be craft resin, which is one part hard net, one part resin. We're going to be testing again this super shiny but also oh cool Let's Resin Molds. Pigments I'm going to be using is the Colour Cottage Super Sparkle White, Colour Me Happy White, and Colour Me Happy Black. I want to see if that's going to give a really nice contrast to the gold leaf that I'm going to add. I've pre-mixed my resin. I'm going to be using it to make quite a few coasters today, but it'll be one video per coaster. Working smart, not hard. But I am going to show you how I apply my gold leaf, if I can find it. Firstly, I have no resin on my hands, which is good, so it shouldn't stick to my glove. But I'm just going to tear... A nice little chunk because there's a lot in here like this and I'm just going to pour it in and mix it into my resin and it should break up naturally as I stir it around see if I can move that into shot for you and I'll just see if I have enough in there it naturally keeps breaking up when I start making my coasters, I'm going to put my respirator on so you, I won't be speaking. But I will add some commentary onto my video. Should I say commentary? I will add some words. All right, so that's breaking up by the fairly big chunks. I'm hoping as I keep stirring, it's going to keep breaking up and going through. I might need a little bit more added otherwise I am not going to get this in all of my coasters. Alright, move that out of the way. Stir it a little bit more and then I'm going to start adding it to my work. sure this is all over and then push it back a little bit to the corner and then come in my black Some more black. Oh no! Oh my god, this is terrible. I forgot to mix it in. Disaster! All right, need a few more black dots in. Now add some more black, shall we? And then I want to add some clear. Push that back. My workstation is very messy today. A little bit more of the black. Push it back that way. Colours are very elegant. Maybe a tiny little bit more of the white. And I think these are domed enough and I am going to come in with my straw but I am just going to put the other one in first how beautiful I'm going to turn it around where I envisage 
going to be like it. But in the meantime, I'm Sharon. I'm digressing. I'm just going to put it that way. There. Make sure you're in shot. Come back and do a similar thing to here. Now. Should I use my resin? The way that the clear pushes it back. Check your in view for both of those still. So I am going to come in and torch it, and then I'm going to come in and blow. Then I am going to come in now with my uh, straw. Just blow a little bit. Watching my hair. If you're using a straw, please make sure you don't have asthma or any lung problems. Do not inhale over your resin. Take a deep breath away and blow into your resin. Uh, hashtag disclaimer before I get people moaning. around and do it the other way a little bit. See if there's anything I'm unhappy with. I'm just gonna check for bubbles one more time. Check that they are all at the top and flat. And maybe just go around with my skewer to make sure there's no air bubbles. Just my gold leaf. the edge but I think I preferred them when they were just flat before but let's let's sort of see what happens torch and then we'll come back when they're cured I 
Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. We are going to demold these. Now I'm a little bit nervous because I've just demolded a few and none of them are not quite well wanted. Anyway, this is like reverse art or reverse molding because you're popping it in upside down and you're not 100% sure what your resin is going to do. Now with some of these molds, because I was doing a lot in one day, I think patience is the key. When you're applying it, wait for your resin to about cure and then you'll hold your design better. Whereas this has just done what it needs to do and moved throughout the resin. So I am curious to know, is it a plus? Is it a down? I'll let you decide, but let's unmold these. So this was using the Let's Resin Molds again. And this was using the uh, Gold Leaf, the Colour Cottage Super Sparkle White and the Colour Me Happy Pigments. Um, then the rest of it was leaving it up to the resin guards. Now this time I applied my colour in first and then the white um, second to see what that created. But no, it's not look so far. Ooh. Um, let's go around the bottom we saw. We'll go around the edge. Edge has got some really nice effects. Pretty well, let's turn it around. So... The white has taken over, even though I applied the black first. I think something within my mixture, or the way I've applied it, I mean, it's still pretty, it's still unique, but this one doesn't even have depth, I don't feel. You can sort of see the black, but it's not really there. Let me think about it and see whether I enjoy them. I mean, maybe the black just at the edge is, is sufficient. Let's see if it's done a similar effect on the other one. Maybe I'm just being so self-critical. I mean, they're still pretty in their own right anyway. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie, dearie. <laughs> Do you ever get some of those times where it's just not what you wanted, but they'll be pretty in their own right anyway? It's done a very similar thing straight to it so if we look at that there is more black to be seen but the white's not even white is it because there's that what am i trying to say does it look like it's frost covering something i don't even know if you're seeing because of the um i mean the, the elegant there's a beautiful sparkle in them the black's interested in the corner, but the white's crept all the way over. Now I'm going to rewatch my videos back to myself and say, when is the point where I should have just said, stay? Maybe I should have done black clear, white clear. Having said that, they are growing more on me. Um, it's quite interesting crackling. I don't know if that's even a word I should be using, like crackling that's happening. But that black at the edges on the gold leaf is very interesting, right there. Suspended. Hmm. Anyway, jury's out on this. I wanna know, what do you think? Success, fail? Do you quite like that white crackling over the top? I think it would have been nicer to see more of the black, but they're not hideous. The more I'm looking at them, the more I'm enjoying them. <laughs> Maybe it's just my frame of mind. Yeah. Don't know if you can see that sparkle that I'm seeing. But yeah, they're interesting. Anyway, I'm Sharon. I'm digressing. Let's bring you in for... I won't say <laughs> oh my gosh. There's no depth in it like last time. There was depth. There is just movement in the bottom that's quite interesting. You can see the glitter. I enjoy that. I can see the gold leaf. I enjoy that. I enjoy a little bit of the black. I actually enjoy the crackling, but it's spread out too thin. Therefore, I don't have the same gathering that I had. Anyway see me just trying to work out whether I enjoy them or not. <laughs>
let's uh, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think. Hit or miss? I'll let you decide. I think they're a hit. They are going on me. They're definitely unique. Anyway, pop back and see me on the next video. Thanks.